This twin RL550C setup is awesome, and in this video, we're gonna take it to the next level. Gavin Gear here from ultimatereloader.com. What we have here is an ideal setup for high volume precision loading for rifle cartridges. We've got two RL550Cs. I've got one here set up for 6GT, even though it says 6 Dasher here. I load both on it. And I've got this one set up for 223. What's nice about this setup is we can have one set up with large primers if we wanted to and 308 case rim and this one for 223, uh, which we load a lot of variants of. And it just helps to prevent a whole lot of machine setup and change over time lost each time I want to go and load. Okay, so what I've got here, I've got KMS squared UFO press lights that I'm gonna put on both. Gotta have that for our powder checks and to be able to see well. And we've also got the output and empty case bin system from inline fabrication. You'll notice I'm using dual ultra mounts. These are the type with the quick change top plate. This is an essential here at Ultimate Reloader. We're always switching around presses and with this system we can just click it in. There's two wing nuts down here that hold it down in place. This system already has the output bin bracket system. This one doesn't. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through the process of upgrading this one and then we're gonna put those KMS squared lights on both. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so that install is very easy. The stock Dillon bracket comes off with two screws. The main bracket assembly goes on with two screws and then there's two screws that hold on the enhanced discharge chute assembly. Now what I did, which you can also see I also did on my other 550C ultra mount plate, is I put a piece of angle iron with two drill holes drilled in it right here and that serves as my bullet bin bracket. So I've got bullets on this side and then over here we've got completed cartridges over here whoosh, and then we've got brass that we're going to insert into station number one right there. That is awesome. Okay so next I'm going to put on these KMS squared UFO press lights. Okay, so now both presses have the output bracket system and they also have KMS squared UFO press lights. Now we are decked out and the UFO press lights are easy to install. I do have a complete dedicated video on the RL550 light from KMS squared. Uh, basically, you're gonna take the tool head out, degrease the areas where adhesive goes, which is under the tool head and then where these little pads go to root the wire do a little scuffing, clean off any scuffing debris, and then remove backer from the adhesive for the light strip. Set that in place, you gotta be careful. Once it sticks, it sticks. You wanna make sure it's oriented correctly. And then uh, there's zip ties. These little pads stick on to the paint on the machine and then zip ties hold the cable into place. You put the inline switch in place, connect the uh, wall power adapter, plug everything together, good to go. Same. Same process here on, on both of these. Okay, so now that we have the presses decked out, I'm gonna do some 223 loading on my new RL550C. What's great about the RL550 series of presses is that you get affordability. This is one of Dylan's most affordable setups and caliber changeovers are both affordable and real quick and easy to work with. And you get precision. And with this light and with this bin setup, we're gonna really have a great reloading experience. So each time we pull the handle, we're gonna get a completed cartridge. One thing I note on the RL550C is I go up a little bit to index because that primer punch, especially if you're not primed already on station number one, can uh, hang up just a little bit. And that's really all there is to it. Really fast way to crank out precision ammo. Of course, you can load pistol on here as well. You know, it's gonna do just as good with that. And once you get into the rhythm, it's just rinse and repeat.
For you guys out there that have RL550s, I'd love to hear more about your setup, what you're loading on them, any special tips and tricks that you pay attention to. But overall, this setup is really where it's at. Love it. So there you go, dueling banjo RL550C setups. Now, you're gonna to wanna to check out the other videos I have here on the RL550 series. It presses a bunch of different bolt-on additions, different loading scenarios. Really, really good stuff. And with these presses set up like this, you can count on seeing more RL550 content coming up here in the near future. Thank you for watching. That concludes this video, and that means it's time to wrap it up. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, we're on Facebook, YouTube, Rumble, where we've got unrestricted content, and Instagram. Make sure to follow us on all those channels. Ultimate Reloader also has a commercial solutions division serving law enforcement, the military, and the gun industry. We have some unique capabilities, including a comprehensive suite of recoil testing and evaluation capabilities, trigger profiling, and more. If you're interested in custom rifles like what we build here on the channel or gunsmithing services, you're gonna to wanna to go to rifles.ultimatereloader.com and get on the wait list. If you wanna learn lucrative gunsmithing like what I show here on the channel, including building custom rifles and Cerakote plus a whole bunch more, you're gonna to wanna to check out the Colorado School of Trades, schooloftrades.edu. Thanks again for watching.